What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 50 of On Shape. What I'm going to do today is create a compound gear system. So we're going to create a 1 to 16 gear ratio. What we are going to do is go and use some of those gears we've already made. So if you haven't, go ahead and go back to my other videos where we make the gears because these videos kind of go um, in relation with one another. So what we've done so far is we've made a 1 to 1 gear system. We've made a step up or step down, down gear, depending on how you animate it. Uh, and now we're going to make a compound gear system. So I have done a couple things um, that just to make this video not near as long as I went ahead and made this back plate um, that I'm going to be putting my uh, gears onto. And the other thing I'm going to talk about is there is some pieces in here which are going to, um, I would say, not make sense if they were truly physically created and one of those being that some of my gears are not actually touching and so if we were to actually create this we would have to make a little bit of a difference for our real life physical model but since we're using this CAD model we're just looking at how to make our gear ratios and how those work um, we're just going to go ahead and not worry about some of those finer details some of those being the axles spinning, some of those being uh, the gears not touching. So if you're looking for kind of those specifics, this video probably isn't for you, um, but it's more of how to make a compound gear system work. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new assembly file. I'm going to go ahead and insert some pieces that I know I'm going to need. And so the first thing is going to be a 20 tooth gear, a 10 tooth gear. It really doesn't matter what you use as long as it's a 2 to 1 ratio. Um, and then an axle. I guess there are other combinations that would work, but two to one kind of is a little more straightforward. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit the green check mark and we are good to go. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just before I fix anything or bolt down my first uh, axle here, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a revolute mate. And I'm gonna put the face of, actually, let's do this one first. Let's do the center of my gear. There we go. Uh, on this face right here. And the very first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put in an offset of, looks like negative one inch. That way it's sitting back. Hit the green check mark, and we are looking good. We're cooking with grease already. Next thing I'm going to do is throw my next Revolute Mate, and that is going to be this 10 gear right here. Now, if you understand why this is, I'd love to hear the reasoning why, but I couldn't quite figure it out. There seems to be a false center when I'm using this Revolute Mate with a gear. And I'm not quite sure where this false center is coming from. So if you follow along with me, right, oh, that wrong button, there we go, try this again. So there is an offset circle and then there's the true center. I don't know where this fake or this false uh, center circle mark is coming from. So make sure you're selecting the right one. I'm gonna show you what it looks like if I select the wrong one actually, because I had some of my uh, students' designs popping up like this. So what happens if I'm not paying attention and I click that false circle and then I go ahead and then click the center of this axle right here. And it's just a hair bit off and it really just, for full pun intended, grinds my gears. And so we notice that something's not quite right there. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to this Revolute. I'm going to delete that because I know that's my problem is that. And I'm going to go to that true center circle. Hit check mark. There we go. Everything's looking good. So what we have so far is we have an axle with the 20 and the 10 tooth gear. And I know I'm going to need this four times. So we go back to my compound gear system. As we have one, two, three, well, I guess four, and then the fourth one split. So I'm gonna need this five times. So what I'm gonna do here actually is I'm going to take this, I'm gonna click on, or sorry, uh, go ahead and select all three of my parts. And I know I'm gonna reuse it again. So I'm gonna hit shape copy. And when you copy and paste in on shape in certain ways, it'll actually go ahead and throw in, if you see, I now have four mates rather than two. So we had two before, paste it back in there. And I know I'm gonna need this a couple more times. So what I'm gonna do then is I'm just gonna right click paste, three items again, four and five. 
There we go. I know for one of my um, instances, I'm only going to need the 20 tooth and the 10 tooth gear. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to find one of these to delete and then one of the other ones to delete. So I know this is going to be my last gear. This is going to be my first gear. So I'm going to go ahead and find this 20 tooth axle and let's go ahead and make it our first gear. I'm going to go ahead and bring in a back plate. That way I have something to to showcase this off to. You don't need that back plate. You're absolutely welcome to go ahead and just um, work from an arbitrary location, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna start with my center gear. So the first thing I'm gonna do is move this plate just a little bit out of the way. There we go. Go to my front and let's start to do some fastens. So what I got here is I'm gonna go ahead and fasten this to the center of that because I know it's going to be my center gear and let's go ahead and then fasten our next one fasten this to the center of this and that offset is going to be whatever distance between the two gears that I need for me I know that's going to be 2.25 inches hit the green check mark and now we're looking good and we're like oh no I'm running into a problem already. So what I've done is I've repeated this setup and all I need to do is edit it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find where this, where these situations at. This revolute right here of uh, that 10 tooth gear needs to go to the 20 tooth gear. So what I'm actually gonna do is just double click on it, do an offset of negative one inch Oh, that's going to be positive one inch. Try that again. And then my 20 tooth gear, I'm going to go ahead and kick that one back too. So find that 20 tooth gear in my timeline. There we go. Double click on it. And I'm going to offset this one as negative two inches. Hit the green check mark and there we go we've already staggered a gear and all i've had to do was just edit the limits okay so let's go ahead and get our next one in we're going to do another fastened we know we're going to have our last gear here fastened here and this offset i know is going to be 2.25 times 2 because it's two times that distance away making uh, on shape be the calculator for me. Okay, what I do know is I want this gear to be in touch with this gear. So what I then do is find this Revolute, which is gonna be somewhere in my Revolute commands. There we go. We're gonna offset it negative two inches. Oh, there we go, that one's gonna be positive two. The moment I think I got them, there we go. And there we go. We have so far as we have our middle, second to last, last gear set up. So let's just continue on. So let's go ahead and do our fasten mate. Click on the back side of that. Click on the center of our plate. Offset negative 2.25. Hit the green check mark. And we're already cooking with grease. Okay. What I do notice is that I'm gonna have to change my profiles a little bit. So we've got our last gears feeding incorrectly, feeding incorrectly. We now need to change this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find where those mates are at. There we go. I'm gonna kick this one back to the negative two. Hit the green check mark. And then same thing for this one, negative one. Hit the green check mark. You know what? I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. That's gonna be a problem. There we go, one inch. That has to all deal with the plane in which I've chosen. I'm trying to make this video rather quickly. Um, what I, you can focus on is looking at the orientation of planes, what you do. I find that to be, um, it takes up more of my time rather than 
Punching a number I should be, I think should be the right direction. If it's wrong, just type in a negative and it fixes it. Okay, all right, and the last one to go would be a fast mate. The end of this onto, and we notice that some things are buried, and so I'm trying to get to the center mate here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my back plate, hold down the shift key, and this then allows me to click on the center right there. It's going to be an offset of negative 2.25 times 2, because we're going to the left. Hit the green check mark. And we're looking great. Looks like one thing uh, is a little bit off, though. Oh, my 20 tooth gear is in the wrong spot. That's right. This one needs to be in the front, not the back. So let's make that 0. Hit the green check mark. And then... This gear needs to be in the back. There we go. Two inches. Hit the green check mark. Last one, but surely not least. This. There we go. Go ahead and throw this one all the way in the back. Hit the check mark, and there we go. I am going a little fast. But uh, for the reason and the sake of time, you should have made already some of these parts already and should know what I need to do. If you don't know, go watch my earlier day videos. You should be able to follow along with me if you've been uh, chugging along and following with me on so far. Okay, so now we've got, as we have, all of our gears in the position they need to be. We've got the 2 to 1, 2 to 1, 2 to 1, 2 to 1. So what does this tell me? This is 2 times 2 times 2, times 2. Meaning, when we put this in correctly, this first gear is going to rotate. When it rotates one full time around, the other gear is going to then rotate 16 times. And so depending on which one's your driven gear versus um, one side or the other, you're either going for more power or for more speed. But I digress, this is not a physics lesson, this is just a lesson on how to make gears. So what I'm going to then do is then just work my way down, Revolute 1, 2, Revolute 2. Nope, wrong one. Got to find it. There we go. That's a 2 to 1 ratio. What I do notice is, uh, let's see if we can figure this out. If this one's going to be going counterclockwise, I need this one to be going the other direction. So let's go ahead and reverse that direction. And what we find then is that, make sure I fix one of my pieces. When this part is going to the left, my gear should be going to the right back there. Cool, that looks great. I did find a little bit of a shortcut when dealing with this gear and this gear. That's still a gear ratio. So what I then find out is, find it in the timeline, this gear to this gear is going to be going the same direction and it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So when this one turns left, oh, both should be turned left there, so let's fix that. Reverse direction, hit the green check mark, there we go. So as my first gear is going to the left, my tenth gear is going to the right, so should the front one right here. And that, that's looking great. Okay, let's keep on going. And we're just going to find in the timeline. This gear is going to revolve with our 20 tooth gear right there. And it is a 2 to 1, but notice I selected the 10 gear first. So this is 1 to 2 or 0 0.5. I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens if... I go ahead and put this as in a 2 to 1 ratio, even though I flipped the mate backwards. And here's what I find some students doing is that we, we find our teeth to be uh, going through each other, and I'm going the wrong direction. And so one of two things happen. Anytime you do a gear mate, you want to check one, one of two things. Actually, technically three. We'll get to the third one. Uh, are they both going the right direction? Is the ratio correct? And then do your teeth of your gears match up? And so I 
should have fixed all of my problems by now. Well, but no, it's not. Let's check it out. So when this gear in the front is going to the left, the gear is going to the right, everything is looking great. Let's continue on our merry way. Okay, we got our 20 tooth gear right there. And then we got our 10 tooth gear right here. One to one ratio. There is more than one way to do this. And so uh, you are absolutely welcome to do fastens. You're welcome to do some other things. But I found it just the quickest way is to do a one to one gear ratio. Okay, we're going to keep on going. Okay, we're going to find our next gear. There we go. 20. There we go to our 10 right here. That is a two to one ratio. And should they be going opposite directions? Absolutely. Hit the check mark and we're already looking good. I am running a little bit of a processing error here. My computer's just having a hard time thinking right now. Oh, looks like my teeth are going through each other. So I'm gonna go back to that one. Reverse direction. There we go. Looking great. Okay. Gear relation between what's fine in the timeline. We got our 20 tooth right here to our 10 tooth right there. One to one relationship. Looking great. If I spin one one way, does it go together? Absolutely. And last but very not least will be our 10 tooth gear. There it is. To our 20 tooth gear. There it is. I selected the 10 first, so this is a 1 to 2 ratio. And I don't believe I'll need to reverse direction, but you know what? I've been proven wrong on this video that sometimes I get the negative sign wrong and I still, for the last time, got that gear direction wrong. Reverse direction. There we go. Green check mark. Looking good. Okay. So what we've done is we've gone through each gear and to make sure that our ratio is correct, we're going the correct direction, and that our teeth don't go through each other. They're not matched up and they're spaced correctly. So here's what I have so far. What I'm going to do now is I can actually animate this first Revolut. And when I do that, we'll just check through the system. Is it doing as expected? And so what we notice is when the gear on the left side is going uh, to one direction or the other, let's go and just make this a loop rather than a reciprocate. If it's going to left, should we, we'll just follow along with this. We've got left, right, right, because those should be going the same direction, right? Left, left, right. Ooh, well, that's going really fast. Let's see if I can uh, animate it sometime downstream. Slow it down just a little bit. There we go. We're going to the right, we're going to the left left right everything's looking good okay so there we go ladies and gentlemen what we've done so far is we've created a 1 to 16 gear ratio using only a 1 to 2 ratio now there is a lots of other things we're going to do with this downstream we're going to make bevel gears we're going to change directions we're going to do rack and pinions and we have some really really cool stuff lined up uh, and then at the end of this we're maybe even model a drill or uh, something along the lines of a piece of machinery we use in everyday life. These videos have been super fun, super awesome. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section uh, or reach out to me however you feel necessary. Uh, I'm super excited about the next series of videos dealing with machinery and building some simple stuff um, that maybe even you'd be able to 3D print and use in your life. Okay guys, take care and I'll see you all in the next video.